Hey guys, Anthony for Before Do's, a really quick, important video. So it's going to be quick and really important. Now, unless I've got the same person mixed up, we've had two of these lately, two problems, two leaking fuel pipes. Now, it could be one person, but I'm pretty sure it's two because around about a week ago on the VIP group, someone said, hey, oh, you know, I've got a leaking number four fuel pipe. And of course, you know, everybody went, mate, what's he done wrong? This and that, you know. Didn't watch the videos. I'm sitting there going, mate, how can you go wrong? You didn't watch the videos, obviously, right? We can't remember his name, who it was. Doesn't matter who it was, but I'm just trying to work out if there was one or two people. Anyway, long story short, there's, I've said this in videos. There's always a reason. So we've done hundreds or thousands of these and we've never had a problem. We know what we're doing. We know it works. The parts are good. The procedures are good. The torque setting's good. Everything's good. And you will not have a problem if you follow the procedures and use the genuine parts. New injectors equals new fuel pipes, got it? It's not just me, it says in the Toyota book in bold writing, when replacing the injector, you must replace the fuel pipe. Anyway, the other thing you must do, you must use the correct torque setting, setting down here at the common rail at this end and up here at the injector, right? New pipes, 32 newton meters. You need a decent torque wrench. It's not just get a spanner and yep, she feels about right, no. Under, could leak, over, could do damage and leak, right? Don't risk it. Use a torque wrench and make sure you're not fouled up on anything else so you get the correct torque setting. So what we do is we install the number four. This is the number four fuel pipe. We install it on the common rail. We install it on the injector. We make sure it's sitting happy in place and we put this bolt in place. There's a clamp that comes in the bag. You need to use it, okay? Um, you put the clamp in place. You get the bolt started so that it can't move. Nip these up all the way so they're finger tight and some, just a little bit more. And put your bolt in and just do up the bolt tight now so you don't forget. And then torque these up to 32, 32. And then double check your bolt. Should be 5 or 10 newton meters. Bugger all, right? But don't forget it because the moral of the story is the one that was on our Facebook group on the Prada Hospital. No, it was on the Prada, on, our, on, on the VIP group. You know what I'm talking about. In the VIP group. You know, all the usual questions, this and that, everyone's scratching the head, doesn't make sense, everybody's done this, never had a problem, we've done hundreds, there's got to be a reason, well guess what, it turned out he forgot to put the bolt in, oh that'll probably be the culprit, not probably, that's definitely the culprit, of course it's the culprit, why do you think the engineers put a bracket there, right, because it needs to be there, same as the clamps, the other clamps need to be on the fuel pops, you don't know what I'm talking about, well maybe I'll show you that soon for those that hang around, now, I just had someone just text me just yesterday, Again, can't remember who it was. I would assume it's not the same person because he's gone, hey, you know, uh, can I buy a number four fuel pipe? You know, I've got a leak, this and that. And it's obviously two separate people because he wasn't aware that it was the bolt missing in the clamp because he just wants to buy a fuel pipe. He's got the injectors and the pipes off me, but he just wants to buy an, a pipe. Now, the problem we got is if I send you one pipe like this, there's more chance that it's gonna get damaged or bent. That's why we send them as a package um, so if it does happen to you, just avoid it by watching the videos. This is why you subscribe, turn the bell on, do it now so you don't miss out. Hit the like button. I'm, I'm taking the time to try and help you here. Okay, this is something we haven't covered because we've covered in the procedures. But now that there's two people in the last couple of weeks, there really needs to be a warning because if there's two we know of, there's, a, there's more that just stayed quiet. They went, oh no, I stuffed that up and they just went quietly and got a pipe and whatever so what I'm saying is if it happens you probably won't want to go to your local dealer to get that um, pipe so that you so it doesn't get damaged because we pack them as sets in a whole kit whatever I can send you one but it's probably going to cost you I don't know 150 165 dollars including GST for one pipe where to buy the pipe locally it might cost you 120 or something like that right so no problem as a kit but buying one pipe when you've done the stuff up that's the solution but whichever one you choose I don't mind but what I'd really like is to save the frustration of everybody and follow the procedures. You need to make sure there's a number of nuts and bolts on the job that if you forget, could cause you unreliability, pain and heartache and money. So follow the videos, right? There's a little bolt that goes in there, make sure it's in there. So Blake texts me yesterday and says, hey, you know, can I get a fuel pipe, whatever? And I'm thinking, but, but what's going on? But why? And a few messages back and forth and I said, and he's, like, I don't know if he's thinking, geez, this Anthony, he doesn't want to help me. It, I can't remember what he wrote, but I wrote, mate, I'm trying to help you. Because the help is working out what went wrong. There's no point me just selling you a fuel pipe and not doing a video for everybody. 
because it's just going to keep happening to people. It's just a waste, you know. We can't stand waste, okay? It's a waste of money. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of everybody's time. So that's why I'm doing the video now. Okay. So then he goes, I said, check. There's always a reason, right? Did you use the torque settings? He goes, yeah, I used the right torque settings. I said, did you put the clamp on and the bolt in the clamp? Later messages, he says, the bolt wasn't there. I think it might be that. Well, the bolt isn't there. I guarantee you it's that. It's not, I think it might be that. It's get on the VIP group, watch the videos. You could have prevented this. And if everybody saw the post on the VIP group, maybe they'd all go out to the vehicle and go, holy heck, let me check I've got that bolt in there before this happens to me. So go and check your cars now. Even if you haven't done your injectors, have you got the little 10 mil bolt in the number four fuel? Is the clamp and the bolt there? Check your other three lines. There should be another flat clamp. There's a flat clamp underneath and one over the top with two nuts on it. And there's two more clamps on the fuel lines. Look, let's get this back onto the vehicle and all the other pipes. And then I'll show you those clamps as well. They all need to be there. And there's one other really important bolt on another component that could cost you nearly $1,000 if you don't remember to put it in and tighten it up. So I'll show you those in All a right. moment. So yes, it's the one with a big Daco timing belt sticker. Just want to show you a few, we're going to call these tech tips with the fuel pipes, okay? So the fuel pipes, they're very important. They hold, what is it? 160,000 kPa at maximum pressure, okay? So they can't be leaking. So there they are down there on the common rail and they come up onto the injectors up here. What we're talking about on number four fuel pipe, See the clamp there, right about the middle of the picture there. Right, right at the middle, see that clamp? People forget to put that bolt in. You can actually like see it, it's right there. You don't want to put it, this one here, down there. Hard to point in it, that one there. Right, see it? Don't forget it. That's number four fuel pipe. Slow down and double, triple check everything. Think it through, if you can't remember, put the tool back on it, check it again, check it again, check it again, right? Just get it right the first time, that's what you want. Now there's a couple other really important ones. You also need to have, see the clamp here? See there's a flat section with a rubber padded section, each side of the pipe, and two nuts. If any of the nuts are missing, any of the studs are missing, either of those plates are missing, well if it comes to the Prado Hospital, you're okay, we've got those in stock, but you're gonna need to order those from your local Toyota dealer, okay? So if you're gonna do your injector replacement, you're getting the kit through me, check the vehicle first, you may find they're missing often i mean you know it's low percentage not often but often they are missing when people have worked on the vehicle more important clamps these two up the top here right they need to be there if one's missing they need to be replaced okay it's about 50 bucks each because there's three separate components there top bottom and the bolt now you don't want them sliding on the pipes they need to be they're meant to be five newton meters but you don't want them sliding up and down the pipes because it could hit the end of the pipe and cut into the pipe and cause more problems, right? You can see this one's been over tightened before. Well, we can, you know, it, the thing is, you can, they, they're not allowed to slide up and down, right? So at the end of the day, they need to be tight enough so they don't slide up and down. So you just keep going a little bit tighter, a little bit tighter, a little bit tighter. So you've got to disregard the five newton meters because if that's five, 10, 15, 20, I don't really care what that is. I need the right amount of pressure here on the pipes so that this doesn't slide up and down and hit the corner of the pipes here, right? So that's the deal guys, just make sure the bolts in, those clamps are on and there's one more really important one while we're doing, reminding you to save your headaches and save your money and all that, spending our time to help you, please press like, subscribe, turn the bell on, the bolt underneath here. See that bolt in the middle of the picture? Right there. Yep, see that one? Right there in the middle of the picture. Where is it? Let's have a look again. The EJR cooler. It's got two little nuts holding it at the front where you probably put your plate in. And you've got the two upside end bolts at the back. You know, you can't miss those. Right in the middle of the picture. See where those little tabs are just below that? When you're doing the job watching the VIP videos, you'll know. But see the EJR cooler? There's only one mounting bolt, right? It's right there. 12 mil. Don't forget to put it in. Make sure it's tight. If you leave that loose, it'll vibrate out. If you don't put it in, this whole cooler, it's very heavy. Same reason the pipes leak, the cooler will break. Diesel engine vibration, right? It's just vibrating around and it's shaking the weight of that back and forth. And what happens? It cracks. I've seen it heaps of times. It cracks underneath the pipe there, okay? 
where the pipe goes in, you can get it welded if you've got someone that's good, or you can spend seven or eight hundred bucks and get a new EGR cooler, or about three hundred bucks at the wreckers, whatever. Um, yeah, there you go. You know, just trying to help you here once again. Another ten or fifteen minutes. Hope you liked it. Subscribe to the bell on. Catch ya. We're out of here. This is going back together.